Good afternoon, Coffee Clatchers. It is Friday, April 15th, and thank you for joining me for Coffee Clatch. It's a special afternoon edition of coffee. Coffee in the afternoon is just as good as the morning. So, um, yeah, thanks for joining me. Um, hopefully everybody has lovely plans for the weekend. I am working, so <laughs> that's kind of what I got on my schedule for the weekend. So, um, I've got a real wonderful little card for you this this afternoon. I'm, I'm used to saying this morning. This afternoon, I got a, a lovely little card for you, and um, it's using some leftovers to make a fun card, and um, we can go ahead and get this baby started. All right, let's flip you around. All right. I didn't get a chance to clean the desk yesterday, but that's okay, right? We are still working on various things and, and, and you know, life is good. So this is the card that we're making today. We are making this card. It is a for a wedding shower that we are go, um, I'm going to tomorrow. I know, it's 24 hours, 48 hours ahead of time. I had the card designed. You should be so proud of me. But what I did was I had a bunch of leftovers. So um, back earlier, I think last year, or last when I first started my coffee clutch, this was the card um, that we had done for um, my my card buffet. And I cut, I was a little overzealous and cut a few too too many extras of these. Partly I had ran out of the ribbon, and so I didn't get them out in a real timely fashion. And this seemed a little overwhelming. It's beautiful, but it was a little overwhelming. So what I'm going to do, which is it's a beautiful um, wedding card as well, but we're going to make this into a shower invite or shower um, card using the guts from this packet that I had left over sitting on my counter. So this is some paper from last year. It was that, um, oh, what was the name of it? Um, something painted. I can't remember the name of it, but it was beautiful. I loved it. It was very um, watercolory looking. Um, so this is retired paper. Um, this is Bumblebee, which is retiring. I'm so sad. As well as Old Olive. And we have a piece for the inside. So let's get this baby started and see what we can get cranked out here. All right. So first off, what I chose to do is instead of coloring, you know, doing a color on the actual paper, I'm just going to do a black um, image. And I am going to use this wonderful stamp set called happiness abounds it is beautiful it's a little sneak peek at um, what's coming out in the um, the new catalogs love it it's beautiful it's gorgeous um, it has a coordinating die set that has this fun these some some of these fun um, side uh, I make it makes it look like notebook or um, spiral bound which is pretty cool and um, some die cuts for some of the images. But what I really like is the sayings. Some of these sayings are just gorgeous, like sending thanks for all you do, congrats, you are wonderful, wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. So again, it's, it's I love the font, I love the mixture of the fonts, and I'm, I like this, you know, the different, um, all the different occasions that it's <laughs> representing. So let's just go ahead and stamp some of these on the background here. Look at that, phew, good gravy. And then we're gonna stamp this one as well. And let's see what else we got. Let's do some of this and fill in a little bit more. You could add some leaves if you wanted to. Um, we could throw a couple of leaves in here. I don't know if that's, they're even gonna be seen, but we could throw them in here just as, just to say we did. stick another one right in here so super easy um, all right so I'm gonna attach that to the right hand side you know it's a little different to the right hand side of my old olive and line that baby up so again I have a couple extra of these packets and they will be in the card buffet on Monday so <clears throat> You need to get some beautiful greeting cards. Uh, this would make a great Mother's Day, It'd make a great, you know, wedding card, um, you name it. So 
we've got four weddings and two showers in the next two months. So on, on Saturday. So um, I should probably be making a bunch of these myself, but I digress. All right. So that's the start of this. We're going to take our white cardstock and I'm going to stamp two different flowers. I'm going to stamp the one rose up in the top left corner here. And then what I did is I stamped on a post-it note and I cut it out. So that I'm gonna stamp right here. And we're gonna stamp another one, um, the other image right down here. Now I cut a second one. That one's gonna go here. And we can stamp our, these are masks. So what we're gonna do is, this is a little high. I probably should have pulled that down a little bit, but that's okay, we can make it work. We're gonna put one right here. And then I like these long frondy ones too. I think those would look nice right here. Maybe one up here. Let's do another one floating down here. And maybe another set right here. So now when I pull these off, it's gonna look like our roses are in front and our leaves are behind. So let's go ahead and color these in quickly and do a better job than I will. And while I'm doing this, go ahead and leave in the comment, what is your favorite Easter candy? Um, I, I like the, <laughs> I like the, the peanut butter eggs. I'm not a big, eh, peeps are okay. Um, the guys like them when they're like rock hard, when they the package is open, um, they're okay. I, I like anything peanut butter. That's, those are my, my go-to. Jelly beans are okay. And do you like black jelly beans? I don't mind them. So leave in the comments, what's your favorite jelly bean or your favorite Easter candy? Okay, and also I'm going to use the Daffodil Delight here. You can also, I'm just going to quickly do this real quick. Again, do some shading, do better shading than I am. I'm, again, you can, you know, kind of wing it and make it look like you really know what you're doing and you really don't have to. For those of you that are, are you know, alcohol micro, my, our alcohol micro pro marker pros you guys are probably cringing so blending that in all right the second survey question have you ever bitten the ears off of your kids easter bunny chocolate easter bunny fess up now all right there we go I'm going to shade that a little bit more. There you go. So look at, that's beautiful. Lovely. So that is the, um, the cute little um, roses that I've got. Now this is a fun die. And what this is going to do is this is going to cut and make it look like um, notebook paper. So we're going to get Georgette out here this afternoon. Oh yes, the Cadbury the Cadbury cream eggs are really good too. I love I used to love those. I still love them too, but you know, at my age you can't like too many or you know, they stick on your hips the rest of the year. Alright, so um it has a, a, a cutting piece and then it has the cute little um the little oh this is a little small today. The cutting piece and then it's got the little um holes for your notebook, you know, spiral. Um, I probably, in hindsight, I probably would have cut first just in case I get it crooked, but we're going to hope and pray that I've got this straight and we're going to send that through. So again, this die go coordinates with this hap. Oh, <laughs> isn't that so cute. Oh, my Lanta. <laughs> you right, bite the ears. Those are the best part, right? So there's our little notebook and that's going to go on here. How pretty is that? But what I chose to do as well is I got out one of the masks that's in the spring catalog 
And what I thought would be fun is to go ahead and lay this mask over the flowers and then we can try to mimic this a little bit. So I have, um, I probably have plenty of them. Uh, let's grab a little bit more. I'm um, just gently hit your bumblebee ink. Can you see I was cleaning out the brush before? And just hold it down and just kind of burnish it a little bit over the top. So when you remove it, it's really subtle. Can you see that? You see that? Yeah, it's very, very subtle, but love it. And what it'll do is it'll make it look like it's part of the, um, the card. And again, depending on how heavy you, you know, how much ink, depends on how heavy you want. This is going to look a little cleaner than my other one, but that's okay. Each one is a masterpiece. So let's go ahead and add that here. We're going to add that with dimensionals. And because it's for a wedding shower, you know, what is that? Something new, something old, something blue, something, something along that line. I'm using some retired thread just because I thought it would be fun to use up some of that stuff. And it's this coppery looking stuff. And I am just going to put that right in the back here. I wound it around my hand and I'm just going to lay that right in that piece, those adhesive strips. And that's going to hold it in place. So this is the something old for the card. I don't have blue on here, but you know, green is blue and yellow. Does that count? <laughs> and we're just going to attach that right to the front, just like that. Beautiful. You can kind of see how my little strings are poking out. This one probably got hit a little bit. I can pull those back out. And again, I wanted it really subtle. <clears throat> All right, grabbing a piece of the Bumblebee cardstock. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna hack off a piece here. And we're gonna find that congratulations right here. And I'm gonna get my big head in here. Stamp that congratulations. Oh, isn't that beautiful? Mm -mm -mm. And we need a scissors. Don't do use your ribbon scissors like I am. Do as I say, not as I do. And then this is going to get attached right here. Isn't that beautiful? Mm, love it. Okay. Put that up. And again, you could add... Um, you could add some rhinestones. You could do a bunch of different fun things, but I'm just going to leave it just like that because I think it's quite lovely. Now for the inside, um, where's my inside layer? Um, you could go ahead and stamp another rose with some more leaves, but again, you could simply do nothing more than um, wishing you all the happiness you can imagine. All right, isn't that beautiful? And then grabbing that stencil again, we could add a little more. We can add a little more of the flowers here. And see, you can see that again, just real subtle there in the background, but how cool is that? Just gives you another little visual interest something else to look at and you have a very lovely shower wedding you know graduation card lovely using some of some new stuff some retired stuff um, and again like this card make sure you sign up for class for Monday we're gonna be doing it on April 18th here in class so this is this is my version and here's a little a version with a little darker of the um, uh, the, the the blending so but it's just so fun it I love 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 this this color combo this bumblebee and old olive is some of my favorites so that's what I got I will chat again with you on Tuesday um, unless you're coming for class that will be Monday you have a very blessed Easter and we will chat soon toodles my friends